Thanks again for chiming in to Dan Hegrich, six-time cancer survivor here, whipping up a turkey ceviche. Yeah, you heard that right. This is going to be some raw dark meat turkey that I deboned yesterday and made some bone broth, and now I'm going to make some uh, turkey ceviche. Yes, you can do it. Don't worry about it. You're probably thinking this is going to kill you. But that's not the case. I've been doing it for about 14 years or something like that. 13 years. So there's two pounds of turkey, dark turkey, diced up. I did it yesterday when I deboned the turkey. Now I'm going to take some limes. I'm going to juice up, uh, pretty much two limes. I'm going to get about, I like about one lime to one pound of meat whatever meat you choose to use. Typically it's fish, right? That's fish ceviche is a classic. When I lived in Baja, Mexico for five months or so, then that was a real treat to have a traditional ceviche. So we'll see what we got here. The juice. That's about right, about an ounce and a half to two ounces. Right. And we'll do one more. I'll keep going. Yeah. I like to put the turkey in a shallow pan like this because I want as much of the lime juice to hit the surface area of the turkey. And you're probably thinking this is like cooking it, right? But it's not, because this is just an acidic medium similar to your stomach acid. So it's kind of like a pre-breaking down or pre-digesting process rather than a heat or cooking process. So that's why you use a raw, a raw turkey. So you got three ounces in there. That goes in. Right? And then I just use my hand to mix it up. And get it all in there. All right, and then I'm going to add jalapeno. I'm going to de-seed it and de-vein it. I'm going to take all that out. I'm going to take all this white out. I need a paring knife. Didn't plan on the paring knife, so I'm just going to scoop that out. Remember, you know, this is pretty hot, so don't touch your eyes or private parts until you wash your hands really well with with a decent soap to get the oil off. Don't don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> How do I know to warn you? It's just a reminder for me because I've done it before in both places. So yep, the joke is on me when I did that. Alright, so I'm gonna slice this up. Pretty fine. Put the slice the jalapeno into quarters, and then I'm just going to slice it pretty thin. Just one jalapeno, just enough for a little bit of spice. I'm going to do a small amount of cucumber. Not much. This is only to give it a little texture. And I take the seeds out of this as well. And if you want to wash your vegetables, this is how I do it. That's my washing technique. Slice this into thin slices. Okay. And then I'm just going to gently chop them up. This is not for any artistic scale, any, <laughs> by all means. Just chop it up, 
coarsely ground, you know, coarsely chopped. We'll get them all done. Typically, ceviche, as I mentioned, is with fish, and in the Baja Peninsula, they had um, cilantro. They did lime juice. They did tomato, and uh, then they did a little garlic, a little red onion, and then they would add a fresh clam on top of that, or a quahog, and the brine or juice of the quahog, and they would do that fresh. Then they would add a little salt, or you could add your own salt and pepper to taste. Yeah, kind of mix this up, mix that in nice. <clears throat> and then I'm going to let this sit out overnight in my cabinet. Yes, I know, it's not going to be refrigerated. It'll be hanging out in my cabinet, which is about 80 degrees. <laughs> and that's all right. No harm done there. The bacteria will come and help to break it down and bring more flavor. So, and then tomorrow when it's done, I add the salt, pepper, and olive oil. I season it tomorrow before eating it. All right? And you're probably wondering, what am I going to do? Am I going to cover that? Yeah, of course I'm going to cover that. So what I do is I cover it with a dish, just like that, and then I'm going to put it in my cabinet in a dark place, right? Let me just see if this camera, I can swing this around a little bit. As you can see, there you go, it's in a dark cabinet. And then tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I'll season it and that'll be my uh, meat for a day or two. And, yeah, I hope you liked this raw video. <laughs> this is Dan Hegert, six-time cancer survivor. If you like this video, hit the like button and share the link, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that jazz. Blessings to all of you. Power and grace.